Welcome to our lecture online and now the final video of this first series of videos on statistics. We're going to try to determine and describe the differences between statistics and probability. You will usually find when you try to find some sort of definition that they'll say well they're very similar there's a lot of overlap and true enough there's a fair amount of overlap between the two but there's some very very distinct differences that really set them apart even though you often find both topics in the same textbook. Now let's read the definition of probability. It is the use of mathematical equations, typically but not exclusively based on the laws of physics, chemistry, or other signs to predict a future outcome. So we're trying to predict the future outcome based on some physical, natural law properties in physical chemistry or other signs that will then determine what the probable outcome will be of a particular event. In other words, predicting the position of an electron, predicting when a bridge will fail, all those things are based on very physical, known quantitative, or I should say physical law uh, characteristics that will say that if the bridge is strong enough, if the, if the bolts in the bridge are, are new enough and they're not rusted, they should be able to hold a particular weight and therefore we can predict the probability of the bridge not collapsing or the bridge collapsing. We're predicting the outcome of a singular event. Now opposed to that is statistics. In statistics we use the analysis of a set of collected data so we're not going to laws of physics or laws of chemistry or laws of engineering we go to the analysis of a set of collected data taking from a sample to draw a conclusion about a characteristic of a population that's one definition or we use the analysis of a set of collected data in order to find a relationship between cause and effect or we, find, we use it to find a physical or mathematical or scientific rule or law. Sometimes we use statistics to kind of infer a law. We don't use a law to infer a probability of an event occurring. Or finally, we use it to determine a future outcome or trend based on the conviction or actions of a population. For example, if you're a store owner or you, you own a, a set of stores and you want to know how many customers you expect to arrive in the future, well, you're going to collect a whole bunch of data. You're going to analyze it. You're going to look at trends. You're going to look at changes over time. Maybe try to correlate them to certain events in the past and then predict what events may happen in the future. And then based upon that, you may draw some conclusions of what you think is going to happen in the future. So that is not a single event, that is simply trying to draw out a trend based upon the actions and based upon the convictions of a, of a population that you're going to sample to get an idea of where their thinking is or what their probable actions will be in the future. So that's the big difference. Usually probability is based on equations, mathematical laws of physics, or chemistry, or some other science, and there's a particular probability of a single event based upon those equations versus we collect a whole set of data, we analyze the data, we try to predict relationships, trends, and so forth to make conclusions. And that's the big difference between statistics versus probability. And that is how it's done.